coming home to you. Hi guys, this is how to play uh, the beginner's version, the easier version of uh, Sweet Home Alabama by Leonard Skinner. Um, an absolutely awesome song, obviously made kind of famous by the riff. Uh, we will cover that riff later in the video. Check out one of the uh, in-video links below if you just want to skip to that intro. But in these videos, we're kind of looking at um, how to change between these chords and learn a few songs with a few simple chords. So this song starts on the D major, the middle step. And then the proper way to do this is, again, along to the original, this isn't an easy cheaty version, we go to this C add 9, which is, in my opinion, kind of a slightly easier C, but it's the one that's used in the record and used in the riff. This would be a normal C, if that's the only one you know how to do, that's totally fine as well, it will work, but it should be easier with this, what I nickname, Noel Gallagher C chord. So we have two strums of a D, two strums of a C, and then a whole bar of your G chord, which again should be easier with the four finger version of the G. So we have two, three, four, and G. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's a slightly up tempo uh, record, but this should be okay for you to, to strum power eights to as well to start off with. So all the downs one and two and three and four and for every bar. That would be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and big wheels keep on turning. Carry me home, sing my hymn. Songs about the Southland. I miss Albany once again, and I think it's a sin. Even through our guitar solos. Dum, 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 keep just keep showing those chords, and it will work absolutely fine. That's the rhythm part to it. Um, if we want to add some upstrokes in there, make it sound a little cooler. One and two and a three and four and a. Every time you do one and two and, hit one upstroke, uh, kind of the same as can't always get what you want, which is a previous video in the series. One and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three and four and a. Now we have pretty much a change there over every time you're going to strum that and a, which happens quickly. The, the key to, to being able to do those kind of changes is actually lifting off to change to your next chord. So you kind of play this chord on your upstroke. One and two and a. Three and four and a. One and two and a. Three and four and a. Lift off and then you're back to your G. Uh, back to the D, sorry. So um, we want to be able to coordinate you lifting off with an upstroke. And again, it should kind of, it shouldn't work, should sound terrible, but this is what's done. This is how people do the quicker changes with the cooler strummings. The strumming keeps going, and if you change chord, it doesn't affect the strumming, or it's coordinated with something else. And this is used to kind of creative effect to be able to do. You can lift off every, every upstroke, and it will still sound absolutely fine over every change. Um, and that keeps keeps going for the whole song, as I say. So just one more chorus with me now, and then I'll let you play it along to the song. Um, or you can look at how to play the intro riff. One and two and a three and four and one, two from a D. Sweet home Alabama, where the skies are. And that's how you play the, the rhythm part to it. Okay, so the... Uh, the blah, blah, blah. 
Okay, so we're going to look at how to play the intro riff now, which sounds like this. Um, okay, look, so it's the same chords as in the easier beginner's version, but we're picking the root note of the D chord twice, with a palm mute in between, so this is your fourth string. And then to the other D note, which is your second string, second to third string. And then you want to pull it right back down to the uh, open D as well. So one, two, three, four, and. You can actually do all of this riff on a downstroke, but if you can do some um, alternate picking, this should make it a lot easier, or even directional picking. So if you're coming down the riff, if you, you want to really look into technique, um, if you're heading down your notes, you'd pick them all with a downstroke as your directional picking, or you can keep them alternate. Or as I say, it's not too fast to do everything on a downstroke if it really helps. Um, that same pattern happens on your C chord, so root note of a C chord. So the D one more time, same riff on the C, and then two root notes of a G chord, and then strum your G. So from the top, that would be. And then all that's left to do is a hammer on and flick off kind of sequence, which we'll look at in a sec. Just do this one one more time though. Main riff from top to three. Okay, and then we go. Now this is from your open A string, which is here, to a second fret on the A string, which is hammered on, and then we do the same sequence on the D string. Pick, hammer, D, hammer. So that sounds like A, D, hammer. And then we, you can flick off or, or pick it, but I would flick off. Okay. And then we need a hammer on at uh, the second fret on the A string where we just came off of, and we're gonna go hammer on, pick, hammer on. And that's the end of your riff on the A string. So all in all, here's your sequence. And you're picking, therefore in a sequence of kind of pick, hammer on, pick, hammer on, pick, hammer on. Um, so pick, hammer on, pick, hammer on, pick, hammer on, pick, hammer on. Which should enable you, you'd always pick in the open string and then put your first finger down at a second fret. Because of that pattern, you could warm up, gain the coordination on just one string, so that's open A, open A, open A. Or you can go between strings, out of order, just kind of put them like a scale. It's like the classic rock guitar thing, right? Um, and then we're going to try and put it in this sequence. So open A, hammer. Open D, hammer, open D, hammer on the A, open A, hammer. And then you're straight back to your D shape, and the rest of your riff. And then we've got an open G, our third string, and we got a couple of picks there, down up, this is definitely going to take some alternate picking. Um, so that's open to fourth fret with your first finger, it's kind of, it reminds me of a Thin Lizzy lick. Sounds like um, the middle of jailbreak to me. Um, but this is from the open, uh, open G. So uh, fourth fret, two fourth fret, two picks, fifth fret, two picks, sixth fret, 
bent up, and then you start your riff again. And the riff starts again from an open D string. So if that feels like, hang on, I've got a, this riff and then I go back to a chord, that's a bit quick. You can actually just pick the start of the riff on the open D. Which gives you a couple of seconds, well, a second or so, to get the rest of your riff set up. Hammer-ons. Single G string. Back to a riff. And uh, that's how to play the intro of Sweet Home Alabama. And then you can be on your, your chords. If it's a bit, you know, you don't want to be single picking for the whole way through. Once it gets into a chorus, Home Alabama. Just, just add that part, which is a uh, same sequence as we did before, but it ends on a C note. One, two, three, four, open. Rather than going, you go with a bluesy bend down. Alabama, and that's as much as I'm going to cover uh, in a beginner's video. If you really want to know the whole rest of the song, do let me know. Put a message below saying make the rest of the song for me, and I will. But um, just in, in case, I'm, I'm going to keep this one for uh, for absolute beginners. Uh, please check out the rest of the videos in this series. How to play uh, ten songs with three chords: G, C, and D. And I'll see you in another one of those. And please subscribe or leave me messages so that I make you more videos. And I'll see you again.